Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let us see how to find out the derivative of inverse hyperbolic functions. So, let's start with sin h inverse x. We know sin h inverse x is equal to log of x plus square root of 1 plus x square. So, we can find out the derivative in two ways. Let us look at both the options. First, we will do it through taking x equal to sin hy. Next time we will use the original definition of sin h inverse according to that what's the value of that. We will try to find out the derivative by using x and log of x plus square root of 1 plus x square. So if I take this one, I will say x equal to sin h of y. So I will get dx by dy equal to sin hy we know is cos hy differentiation of that but what we want is dy by dx that is equal to 1 by dx by dy which is equal to 1 by cos hy now if x is sin hy what is cos hy cos hy is equal to square root of 1 plus x square. How we got it? Because cos h square x minus sin h square x equal to 1. Like how we have cos square x plus sin square x is 1 with respect to hyperbolic functions cos h square x minus sin h square x equal to 1. Therefore, this becomes 1 by cos hy is nothing but equal to we can go ahead and write it as equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus sin h square y which is equal to 1, pl 1 by 1 plus sin hy is x so I can write it as 1 plus x square square root of that. So the derivative of sin h inverse x is equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus x square. Now let us see how to find out that using the logarithmic function definition. So let's do that by using that. Let's find the derivative by using the definition formula that sin h inverse x equal to log of x plus square root of 1 plus x square. Let me write it down y equal to sin h inverse x equal to log of x plus square root of 1 plus x square. Now I want to find out dy by dx that's equal to. Now if you look here logarithm of some function. So we have to apply the chain rule now because we have the variable is nothing but a function. So we are looking at composite functions. So log of something is nothing but log of x is 1 by x. So can I go ahead and write it as 1 by x plus square root of 1 plus x square. Then after that multiply that with we are done with the first step that is the derivative of log of the variable. Now we have to look into the outer to inner right. So we have to look into the next function. So we have to do derivative of d by dx of x plus square root of 1 plus x square. So let us see what we will have there. I will do 1 by x plus square root of 1 plus x square that you multiply with d by d by dx of x is 1 d by dx of 1 by root 1 plus x square again again I see a chain rule root of 1 plus x square I have to write it as 2 root 1 plus x square because you know if you have root x that is 1 by 2 root x but this is not a variable again this is a function 1 plus x square so 1 plus x square I have to do d by dx of 1 plus 
x square that should be the step so let's go ahead and see what will be the next step the next step will be 1 by x plus square root of 1 plus x square multiply that with into 1 plus 1 plus x square square root is 2x divided by 2 root 1 plus x square this is equal to I have 2 2 cancels if I take LCM if I take LCM I have x plus square root of 1 plus x square divided by x plus square root of 1 plus x square and multiply that with 1 by root of 1 plus x square so you can see that these two terms cancel out you have 1 by square root of 1 plus x square so you can get the derivative of sin h inverse x by either taking x equal to sin h y or you can also do it by taking the logarithmic function the definition of sin h inverse x is logarithm of x plus square root of 1 plus x square now we have applied couple of chain rules on that we just found that log of something is 1 by that function into derivative of the function where we see one more chain rule nested so we found 1 plus 1 by 2 root 1 plus x square again d by dx of 1 plus x square you simplify that we see that we will get 1 by square root of 1 plus x square that is d by dx of sin h inverse x now let's look at the cos h inverse x now let's find out derivative of cos h inverse x we can do it using the logarithmic function or we can do it by inverse function also so let's do that way since we have seen one example how to do and the similar lines you can try this one so I'll go ahead and say y equal to cos h inverse of x so can I say x equal to cos h of y that gives me dx by dy equal to derivative of cos hy we know that derivative of cos hy is sin hy so I have sin hy now dy by dx is equal to 1 by dx by dy that is equal to 1 by sin hy now I have to find out what is sin hy in terms of x for that I will use the formula cos h square y minus sin h square y equal to 1 that gives you sin h y equal to square root of cos h square y minus 1 cos h square y minus 1 so I can write it as now here 1 by square root of cos h square y minus 1 that's equal to 1 by cos h y is x so I can write it as 1 by square root of x square minus 1 the, so that's how you can find out the derivative of cos h inverse x now same thing you can also find it out by taking y equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus 1 then you find out the derivative of that like how we did it for sin h inverse x you will get the same answer 1 by square root of x square minus 1 so let's go ahead with tan h inverse x again we can solve tan h inverse x derivative by using of log into 1 plus x by 1 minus x or just writing down x equal to tan h y let us do that way first x equal to tan h of y so what is dx by dy dx by dy equal to secant h square y if you remember we already proven that derivative of tan h y equal to secant h square y which is nothing but equal to 1 minus tan h square y 
बिकॉज सीकेंड हेच स्क्वेर वाई प्लस टेन हेच स्क्वेर वाई इक्वल टू वन दट वी नो ओके ना वॉट इज डी वाई बाई डी एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज वन बाय डी एक्स बाई डी वाई दट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय वन माइनस टेन हेच स्क्वेर वाई विच इज इक्वल टू वन बाय वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर so that's how very simply we can prove that now let us see how to do that with half of log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x so i will write it down dy by dx equal to half will come out then i have log of some variable if i have log of some variable my derivative will be 1 by that total variable if i say log of x is 1 by x so x here is 1 plus x by 1 minus x so i'll write it down as it is then i should find out the derivative of 1 plus x by 1 minus x so can i write it as 1 by 2 into 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x into derivative of 1 plus x by 1 minus x this is u by v form so i can apply the u by v u by v form i will have v square that is 1 minus x whole square then i'll have v that is 1 minus x multiply with uh, 1 minus x multiply with u dash u dash is 1 plus x derivative is plus 1 minus of u into v dash that is 1 plus x into v dash is minus 1 so this is equal to half into 1 minus x by 1 plus x multiply with 1 minus x whole square here i will have 1 minus x minus into minus will become plus plus 1 plus x so you can see x x cancels i will have 1 by 2 into 1 minus x by 1 plus x into 2 by 1 minus x whole square this is equal to 2 2 cancels 1 minus x x will go one times so i will have 1 by 1 minus x square that's a derivative of tan h inverse x so you can find it out by by taking the inverse function and then doing that or you can find it out by using half of log 1 plus x by 1 minus x now let's go ahead with the secant h inverse x let's look at derivative of secant h inverse x for that what we will do we will say x equal to secant remember whenever we are applying y equal to ch inverse x to x equal to secant h of y we are restricting the values so that it's a bijection that should be very clear okay now let's find out what is dx by dy dx by dy equal to derivative of secant hy derivative of secant hy we know is minus of secant hy multiplied with tan h of y so dy by dx equal to 1 by dx by dy that's equal to minus 1 divided by secant hy into tan hy but you know tan hy is equal to square root of 1 minus secant h square y because secant h square y i'll write it down here secant h square y plus tan h square y equal to 1 we know that so based on that i can write it as minus 1 into secant h y multiplied with square root of secant h square y minus 1 that's equal to minus 1 by x into square root of okay it's actually i just did a little bit of mistake there it's 1 minus secant h square y you can see that tan h square y equal to 1 minus secant h square y 
so that is equal to minus 1 divided by x into square root of 1 minus x square now with this understanding can you please go ahead and try cosecant h inverse x and cot h inverse x so we know the derivatives of hyperbolic functions you can leverage them and you can find out the remaining two see if you are not getting please do let me know I will try to add that video too but that is simple because we have done so many it should be easy for you to do that so that's about the inverse hyperbolic functions how to find out the derivatives of them so we are done with all the formulas so we are ready to go we are ready to fly ready to do lots and lots of problems so we'll start with very simple problems taking very 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 simple examples related to addition of functions subtraction of functions multiplication of functions derivative of we are only talking about derivative of addition of functions how to find the derivative multiplication how to find the derivative quotient how to find the derivative suppose it's a inverse function how to find the derivative so we will combination of all this we will try to solve by using whatever the ammunition or the formulas we ever whatever we have till now so i'll catch you in the next session where we are going to start a interesting journey of solving the problems in differentiation by using the all the formulas we have enough ammunition to do lots of lots of sessions so i'll catch you again in the next session thanks for your time bye for now